Hello there. Today, we're talking to my friend Rachel Marino from the Harris County Fire Marshal's office. Welcome, Rachel. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we're going to learn everything about you today. Okay. Primarily work history, educational background, things like that. So let's start with what you wanted to be when you grew up. Now, I really didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, but I thought I wanted to work for a major corporation like Exxon and be their brand manager and work um, in some kind of field like that. But luckily, after I graduated from college, I found a job at the state fire marshal's office and found my way into public service and working with firefighters and police and really fell in love with it. Okay, so you've been in this field your entire career then? My entire career. Um, one year I took off and went and worked in politics and didn't really care for it as much and wanted to start working <laughs> with firefighters and police again, so I got back into it as soon as I could. Very good. So how long have you been with the Harris County Fire Marshal? I have been with them three years, um, actually this week. Oh, really? Well, mm -hmm. happy anniversary. Thank you. So now that you're with the fire marshal's office as a public information officer, mm -hmm. so what does a normal day look like in your Every world? day is really different. Um, it starts out with really checking email, any voicemails that came in overnight. Um, and then we plan out our week and or month or even quarter about what our messaging is going to be, whether it's safety messaging um, or having to go out on an incident and mm -hmm. talk about a fire happening and what we could have done to prevent it or, and or what caused that fire. And those incidents don't happen on your schedule. No, they happen all the time. I have seen they want. you on the news at you know six o'clock in the morning, and you spend all night up working working mm -hmm. a fire. You just never yep. know when that's going to happen. Never know. They never happen when it's convenient, but we're we're there to help the community and respond. So we respond when necessary. Something I think people don't realize about the fire marshal's office is y'all are equal parts police officer, equal parts firefighter. So tell us about how that works. So we serve multiple purposes across the county. We investigate fires. Um, we can actually arrest people if they have set the fire intentionally because it is a crime. Um, we also do fire inspection. So before a building is even built, we go in and make sure it's safe. The fire sprinklers work, the fire alarms work. We also have a hazmat team that are firefighters that go in for very specific reasons. So if you see a oil spill on the highway or you yeah. see something, um, even like a marijuana grow house, something like that, our huh. fire um, firefighters who are hazmat technicians will respond to those incidents. So we run the gamut from police officers to firefighters to inspectors and admin. We have a whole um, gamut of people that work for our office. So all kinds of positions available all just kinds within of positions. That, that one office. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about how you guys are fighting human trafficking. Is that something that y'all can do in a very unique way? Absolutely. So fire inspectors have a way into businesses that police officers may not have initial entry into. And we can do it legally. So we have um, a right to go into businesses to make sure they're safe, make sure exits aren't blocked, make sure their sprinkler systems aren't working. Our office, anytime a complaint is filed, our office has a duty to go in and look at that complaint. Complaint. So it doesn't have to necessarily be tied to human trafficking at first, but when our officers or our inspectors are in there, we can look for signs of human trafficking and then report those to um, the police and local law enforcement. Awesome. Now maybe you kind of answered this question with that answer, but what do you find rewarding about your job? When you get that call at 2 o'clock in the morning and it's time to get up and go to a fire scene, what is it that motivates you? Um, what I think motivates me the most is knowing that we're helping people. Mm -hmm. So there, we go to a lot of incidents where someone may have a fatality, they may have lost someone in the fire, or the complete opposite, a smoke alarm may have saved their life. And so what I get to do is to tell people about their stories and how they can, one, prevent the fire from ever happening in their house, or two, if one happens, the smoke alarm could save their life. And we don't really know how many people we've helped out there because it's hard to count sure. prevention. But every time we can get our message out there, we know somebody's listening and we may have saved a life that day. Love it. So what advice would you give someone, whether it's a student or maybe someone that is maybe in between jobs and you know, looking for a new career, what advice would you give them uh, going forward, maybe if they want to get into your field of getting up at 2 o'clock in the morning and talking to news cameras? <laughs> um, one, just make sure you love what you do. Mm -hmm. Find something that you enjoy doing. I never thought I would get to play on social media all day. Yeah. I get to play on Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, make videos. There are days I'm out taking pictures of our guys working and I think to myself, wow, I can't believe I'm getting paid to do this. Right. So it never really feels like a job. Even when those two o'clock in the morning calls come, 
we have a mission and we're out there to help the community and make make sure that we meet that mission. So if somebody's looking for a job and they want to help people, their customer service base, looking at the fire marshal's office to become an inspector, investigator, even a communicator like what I do, you help so many people that you don't even realize it. I love it. Rachel Marino, Harris County Fire Marshal's Office, Public Information Officer, thank you for your time today. Thank you, thank you for having me.